This is a 2012 Salem Hemisphere 312 QBUD model. Uh, it's only a year and a half old. Uh, we've owned it since it was new. It's um, got lots of features and upgrades. And I'm going to show you a few on this video. I'm going to start uh, outside here. Uh, there's two entrances. The one uh, here that goes into the kitchen slash family room area. And then one here that goes into the rear uh, bathroom. Uh, this is a rear kitchen or an outdoor kitchen, which is uh, one of the nicest features I liked about it. It's um, got uh, very nice uh, solid wood cabinets that are all stained. Uh, three cabinets out here and a drawer. There's a second uh, outdoor refrigerator here that's uh, barely been used. I'll show it to you also. Uh, everything works perfectly. It's beautifully clean. Um, no issues with the refrigerator out here. It has a nice sink with um, nice faucets. Uh, all the uh, countertops are uh, very uh, nice. There's also my favorite feature of the whole camper is this outdoor grill that you can cook right here at your countertop where you can have a sink and everything at your disposable uh, disposal while you're cooking. And uh, this gas grill just hooks to the regular uh, LP that uh, the camper has uh, two 30 pound tanks. The uh, wheels are uh, cast aluminum. They also have, um, you see on this thing, they're filled with nitrogen. So that helps them uh, even more. This is the uh, water heater, which I'll show you also has both gas and electric. And uh, the electric uh, shut, up, shut off and turn on is right here. You just keep it on off, uh, turn it uh, on electric if you want, electric on or inside. When this is turned off, you can turn on the gas. Um, let me just show you. Here's uh, one of the storage bins. It's very, uh, lots and lots of storage in this trailer. You'll see. Uh, this goes all the way through to the other side. Quite a large storage in the front compartment here. Here's the uh, two 30-pound tanks. I added this um, electric jack, uh, hitch jack, uh, to this. It was not standard. I added. Uh, there's a, um, <coughs> a very good condition a battery here. Here's the other side of the uh, storage area. There's two slides. One here, I've got them both out right now. This is the forward one, and then there's one in the rear uh, bedroom that you'll see. Uh, here's the decal on the front. I've got everything uh, nice and beautifully clean right now um, for this uh, particular trailer. Uh, there's also uh, outdoor speakers that you'll see here on the side, and this awning is also electric. So it's a uh, power in and out. We'll go inside, show you some of the uh, beautiful features inside. Uh, this is the uh, master bedroom, which also has um, uh, very nice features. There's a, a large uh, hanging closet here for hanging uh, clothing that are kind of longer. Um, then on the other side, there is a smaller um, also hanging closet, but for kind of shorter, you know, shirt length items. But that gives you this uh, nightstand uh, with electricity. Uh, all the windows have these very nice um, blinds that are the, you know, kind of comb style uh, that are very nice. They also have very nice uh, window treatments throughout the entire camper. And you'll see how nice the colors are in this camper. Just a really um, um, nice coloring. There's this um, crown molding, uh, solid uh, stained wood across the top here. There's a very nice um, LCD uh, television in here along with uh, surround sound and a DVD player that's hooked to it. Uh, both the remotes are right there that operate everything. Um, here's some other storage underneath the TV. Then in the kitchen here, one little feature I kind of liked is there's a 
spot here with two power outlets to charge your cell phones um, while you're camping. Here's the nice um, kitchen with stainless steel appliances, um, a stainless steel sink and faucet that's uh, retractable, it pulls out, a stainless steel uh, three burner uh, LP stove and a stainless steel hood and a stainless steel trim on the uh, microwave. Um, even the uh, stained wood, uh, real wood on the front of the refrigerator. It's quite a uh, uh, good size uh, Dometic uh, refrigerator. My wife's actually cleaning the things right now outside and a very uh, nice size uh, freezer. We appreciated this large pantry that was very good for storage of food that uh, seemed like in campers we had previously we didn't have that much room. Um, there's also uh, three drawers here um, under that have a real nice latch um, that keep them secured. And then there's a, an additional three drawers underneath the sink which has this um, very nice countertop. There's three drawers here, one even with the uh, dividers for silverware. Then there's a large storage under the sink um, that's quite roomy and one even on the back side here that's also good sized. Um, this sofa right here uh, pulls out and folds out to make an additional bed. Um, and then this uh, eating dining area also makes into a very large uh, bed when you fold down this table. Um, even the light fixtures you'll see are very um, updated and, uh, and really nice looking. Uh, another feature we always liked was this very uh, storage area in the closet. It has three kind of cubby spaces we use for towels and washcloths and things like that since it's directly across from the bathroom. And a very uh, large storage uh, for additional hanging clothes here and then into the bathroom which I appreciated because it was very roomy and also very well lit because there's a two natural lights uh, both the fan and a skylight in the shower and um, again just the very nice uh, faucets counter and um, and um, the stained wood again so it's, uh, I appreciated it that it was, it was roomy because um, you could always have more than one person in here, which some campers I've been in, there's one place to stand. And in here there was far more room. Another very good uh, feature about this camper I liked was a real uh, toilet that was made of real material, not plastic. And it also, the way it flushed was very nice. Had uh, very good water pressure that came out and cleaned the whole bowl as as you flushed. So, um, then the back bedroom. One thing I failed to mention both in the front bedroom and back here, there's a door that closes off the bedroom. So privacy is even better. There's a pocket door here for this back bedroom. There's also the pocket door for the front bedroom where both those doors uh, close that are behind the TV. And then when both those doors are closed, you can flip that television around so you could watch uh, television in bed or use it for this family room area. So that was a very nice feature we liked. And then back here, this back bedroom is very roomy. You can see this big picture window uh, in the back, which um, there's so much room even on the floor in this back bedroom because there's both a sofa, if you want to use this as a sitting area, there's a spot for a television with the cable hook up there. There's a ladder to get up to this top bunk and two drawers and then a big storage area with still these very nice uh, cabinets and very good stained wood. Um, two doors there and this top bunk is quite roomy and these beds are very nice. A soft uh, material and you can see um, how it's made. It's just a, a very nice bed, uh, nicer than some mattresses I've seen in many campers. Then this sofa um, folds out, makes into another bed. It's a scissor 
uh, style sofa. 